All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to assemble and build your ECG simulator. And what we'll talk about is how to solder this onto the PCB board, how to use your Arduino Nano, and how to make connections with these alligator clips. Before we get started, you want to make sure you have all your ECG kit components. The next step is you want to solder your components onto the PCB board. Now, if you're not familiar with soldering, please check out my video that talks about how to solder. This is going to tell you everything you need to know to be successful in soldering. But even if you're not very good, even if this is the first time you've ever soldered something, I have seen so many people complete this project no problem, even with really terrible soldering skills. So this is a very forgiving soldering project. So as you're looking at the board, you want to take a look at all the components that you have labeled. And that's going to tell you where each component needs to go. So if you take a look at the manual, right? Each resistor has a corresponding value. So R1 is the one kilo ohm resistor, R2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6 are 10 kilo ohm resistors, and so on and so forth. So you want to make sure that you match the resistor label with the correct resistor value. And those can be seen on there. C1 and C2 are the capacitors, and there's only one size capacitor, so that's not hard. The female header pins, those are going to go in here before you put on the Arduino. And that's just so that you can take out the Arduino Nano and use it for other projects. These are completely optional. The next thing is make sure when you put your Arduino in, you put it with the USB port on this side. The SPDT switches are completely reversible. So it doesn't matter which way you put these in. Now with the LED, this is one of the few things on the board that has to be put in the correct orientation. So when you put this in, you wanna look for the leg that is the small leg on your LED. And you're gonna put that in the square pad on your PCB board. Then when you're using your three pin screw terminal, you're gonna to wanna to put that so that it is oriented in this direction. That way you can easily connect the leads into this location here. So once you understand the orientations of where things go on the board, it's just a matter of soldering this thing together. Now a little trick when you're putting resistors in there, what I recommend doing is bending these resistor legs as much as you can near the resistor. That way they fit well onto the footprint of your board. Just like that. Just a quick reminder before you start soldering, you want to make sure you tin your tip a little bit. So melt a little bit of solder on there, get it nice and shiny, clean it off, and you should be good to go. I have my iron set to around 623 right now, but that's gonna depend on the type of tip you're using and the type of solder that you're using. So now you wanna get work to actually soldering each of the legs. Every so once in a while, you're gonna to wanna to come in and trim those so that you can give yourself some more space to solder. So once you get all those components soldered onto the PCB board, you can go ahead and put your Arduino in, make sure the USB is obviously facing down in this case. So you just wanna match up the pins. Now, once your Arduino's in there, the next step is to get your leads connected. Okay, so I have my three leads right here. I got a white lead, a red lead, and a black lead. And what I need to do is I need to go ahead and make sure that the wires are properly stripped at the end. So what I want to have is a little bit of conducting wire exposed on each of these leads. So you want to take your wire strippers and go ahead and strip off a little bit of the insulation from each of wires. Okay, the next step is to go ahead and screw these counterclockwise, open them as wide as they can go. That way it's easy to insert all of the lead wires. So if you want your ECG simulator leads to match what's going to be on your patient monitor, you're going to want to make LL red, RA white, and LA black. At the end of the day, obviously the color of the wires don't really matter, but this will help you keep track of which of your ECG simulator leads should be attached to your patient monitor leads. Once you install some batteries in the portable USB charger and turn on the toggle switch to on, you will see the LED start to blink at the set heart rate of your ECG simulator. So once your ECG simulator is ready to go, it's time to hook it up and connect it to your patient monitor leads. So once you connect the patient monitor leads, in the same colors as your ECG simulator leads, you should be picking up signal on your patient monitor. Now, if you wanna learn more about the different functions of your ECG simulator, 
check out our other video on how to use your ECG simulator.